Yo, what is going on, all of my people, once again? So, a lot of people still continue to ask me the question, what's the difference between Moreno and Negro out here in Mexico, and have I been called either or? And the question is, yes. Now, here's the thing. Now, we all know, coming from an American perspective, the term negro is usually always used in a negative context. Now, out here in Mexico, um, I've been called moreno. Now, moreno just means dark skin. That's pretty much it. Now, depending on how they use it in the context, that could be another situation. Um, but negro just means the color black. But again, if you look at the context behind it and how it's used, then take it as what it is. You dig what I'm saying? So I've been referred to Negrito. So, of course, hence my name, you know, Negrito Grande. Um, the Ito just means little cute boy. This is how they look at it. And I don't know if this is throughout Latin America, but out here in Mexico, this is typically what it means in Spanish little boy ito now negro uh, means black so negrito um little black boy um so i've never had that experience of being called negro in a negative connotation out here um and i've been out here in mexico for you know eight years you know living out here and <laughs> i don't regret any experiences that i can think of at the moment so Mo moreno if a person ever calls you moreno out here um without a negative connotation behind it it just really refers to the description of what you look like because you know it's a lot easier to describe people especially new people if you get their name if you forget their names so moreno hey look at that moreno over there uh you know mira ese moreno you know that just means you're of darker skin. And um, like, really, that's the big thing. You know, you have to leave that American men uh, leave that American mentality back at the border before you cross into Tijuana. But don't be naive at the same time, too, because you do have to realize that a lot of these countries are heavily influenced by um, the American ways. So. At the end of the day, it just refer it just depends on the context that they use it in. You know, of course, just kind of um, be smart about it and make good judgment. But me personally, I've been called, you know, net negro to refer to my skin complexion um, or moreno. Now, what I did notice is that the people out here, especially the the women when they refer to moreno around me they feel really they they kind of feel like they have to walk on eggshells just because they feel very sensitive about it they don't want to offend a person or you know um they just feel bad if it feels like they're going to offend me by calling Mo Moreno because they know I'm not from Mexico you know I didn't grow up in their environment so they do watch the american way so we take it a little differently so it's a bit interesting you know depending on um the values we bring out here and how they look at it when they're around you so when they say moreno around me they're <laughs> really really careful of uh how they use it but for the majority of the time they use it in a way to describe people, you know, how they physically look just like, you know, um, you know, branquito, you know, um, bran branco, um, that means white, you know, so rubio, um, that's like a redhead. So it really just means um, a way to describe you, you know, describe a person in general. But again, <laughs> don't be naive about it because a month can actually mean that in a negative context, you know, one well, if that person doesn't like you or, you know, they feel some type of way about you. So I hope this kind of clears up um, a lot of people's um, questions about Moreno versus Negro and how do the people out here in Mexico use it. Now, Mayate, 
that is a definite that is definitely um a negative um word out here and it's different in the united states because you know let's keep it a hundred i'm from cali so mexican americans use it to offend black uh people which they their definition of mayate means nigger with that er with the er american er pronunciation um to offend and i'm just i'm just keeping it a hundred let's be honest now out here in mexico mayate just means black beetle um but it's also used to offend um uh gay people i believe um yeah gay gay people you know so um that's what i've learned out here so <laughs> let me know what y'all think in the comments below um and yeah one love appreciate it outro arre pues negrito grande sale